Do you do you talk to Giselle about this kind of stuff? Or do no. you are you guys just like you just chill? She's like supermodel, superwoman, wonder woman. She's um, a freak. So She's an absolute freak of nature. It's insane. Like but like like I would never of like you know and but like like contemporaries I hang out with I would never ask them for advice because I'm an idiot and like I'd almost feel like embarrassed to. Oh, and I kind like, of feel like, that way a little bit. Um, I I like I am friends with Erin Andrews and look up to her big time in this industry. And I someone asked me the other day like what tips she's given me and I was like I think I've never asked her that question actually. I know. <laughs> it's I a don't great question to ask them. Of like friend of like. But that's that's probably why they're like friends with you. Like that's probably why they they like hanging out with you is because it's like oh Camille comes around she's not like asking for connections or whatever. But at the same time, I would maybe try to pick up a couple tips here and there from some of those girls. They done pretty well. I I just love like watching on the air. But but with Giselle, like it's so funny that the the moments that we have together, it's it kind of goes without saying that we under like she understands like Tom's career. She knows that I understand how Rob's life works, and then you know, what I don't understand is what it's like to be um, an international superstar supermodel who also has three kids and is Tom Brady's wife and has dogs. And Okay, so the dogs. three kids is where you guys started to differ. I, I was uh, going to say, you know, point, I don't know, so her career is freaking insane. I, I, you know, it keeps me hungry to keep going. But, but when I do see her, it's not like ring ceremonies, boat parades, um, Super Bowl wins. Like, it's cool because we're always like, what's up, girl? But we never really get to sit down and like ask, you know, I don't get to ask for advice or get to tell her about what's going on in my life or hear about her. So I'm hoping that that day will come because we have a lot in common with like, um, you know, eating plant-based. And I, I, I found out there's this farm that I go to in Tampa that we always miss each other. And I'm like, oh, if only like we just could have each other's numbers and then could just go together and pick out our farm vegetables. You guys don't have each other's numbers? You gotta get those digits, Camille. It's the, it's the, it's that, it's that moment when, like, for example, we were on the field and it was actually, we were having a conversation about like regular life stuff while the confetti was coming down. And then she saw Rob. She like wanted to see Rob. We like caught up really quick. And then she was about to be like, what are you doing after you should come on this yacht? And I was like about to be like, I don't have your number. And right before I did this, she's like, there's Rob. And as we started to walk over, she's like, let's go see Gronky. And I was like, okay. And we started walking over. Bad Boys for Life comes on. She's like, pull out your phone. I was like, that's what I was thinking. We <laughs> you know, they see each other. She gets pulled all over with Tom. And, and you know, like, so it was this close. <laughs> I mean, well, the video was iconic. That was fun to do. So. That's yeah. very funny. She calls him Gronky. Like, Gronky. Yeah, that's what, that's Gronky. what Gronky poo. Let's go see Gronky babe. <laughs> I mean, that there's got to be some, some, you know, I don't know, talk to your agents or something. You got to get that number. Be there like, should be, I, honestly, okay, I, app there'll idea. There'll be a good time. I, I mean, Rob has her number. So I, if I really want, I could just be like, Rob, can I just all numbers? So I could be like, let's go to the farm together today. Yeah, go got that. some tomatoes or no, no tomatoes, whatever the fuck they eat over there. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, they don't eat tomatoes. I don't yeah. Know. <laughs> What's there your app be idea? A celebrity John? app. We're like, yeah. it, every celebrity is in the app. And then you can just request another celebrity's number, and then I feel like this is legit. Yeah. I'm legit. Like you know who I am. Yeah, I'm I'm Camille Costic. I'm verified. I got fucking million followers on IG or whatever it is you yeah, got. Wait, does does like, Giselle does she do social media and stuff? Could you like hit her up on IG or does she not even fuck with it? I mean, I could, but I I mean, I'm sure there'll be an opportunity. I see her. I just never. It just never feel, I don't know. I'm just, you guys get it. Like, I don't want to be yeah, like, yeah, yeah. what's your number? And I'm sure she'll be like, oh my God, you don't have it. But, but I, I think, I think when I, if I was, I don't know who I could think of as like a comparable, but like, if I got as close to, I, I guess, Joe Rogan or something as you are with Giselle, I think I'd be like, all right, I'm going for it. What's your number? Yeah, I need to You're just- close enough, Camille. You're, I mean, you're yeah. not like, no, you, you are think- closer to Giselle then you are closer to like the 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 new rookie model. You know what I mean? Like you're you're on that same you're on that trajectory. Go get it. No, I agree. I agree. <laughs> I think Camille, you're too close now, though. I think that you you passed like ships in the night. Now you're too close to ask for a number. Yeah. Oh, like like that. Like she's Honestly, too guys, no. above that. She's too cool. Yeah, like, it's like I'd be weird to ask for a number now. Like we're friends. You know, you're almost on that level of like, oh my God, I thought I had your number. Like, I guess I don't. I mean, I, I, it's, it's yeah. been on my phone and I, you know, I thought I could text you whenever I want. I just haven't. She, and I, I mean, it happens so fast, but she was, whenever she said that thing about, you know, after the Super Bowl, like come on the yacht and, um, 
I don't know if she even said to me, like, do you have my number or whatever, like whatever. And I was like, oh, you know what? Let me just, oh, okay, Gronky. Yeah, well, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> it was just, ah, so fast. 96% of you motherfuckers watch these videos and aren't subscribed. Shout out to the 4%. You are good people. 4% of people are watching I think that's clips. About, about what the, I, I would guess, the breakdown of good people demographics versus bad people. in the world. Yeah. Good people versus bad people. Probably about 96% to 4 That's but fair. But be a good person. But it's not even, I'm not even asking you to be a good person. I'm asking you to push a button. Yeah, but, I'm asking you to click a button. Yeah, you, yeah, you can be a bad person still, but just click you the button. You can be a piece of shit. Just click subscribe. 96% of you watch these clips and they're like, oh my God, that was a funny clip from this podcast. I liked it. And I'm just not going to help them out. The people who work to make it, the people who work to produce it, to post it, to upload it, and there's nothing from you. You're a bad person if you don't subscribe. Be a good one.